In this video, I'm going to give a brief example of tickers in Golang. So tickers are used normally when you want something to be done at regular intervals. So for instance, you, you have a service running on cloud and you want to check if it is running properly or not. So you can write another service which continuously checks if it is running fine. So let's give an example. Let's say if you have a function called check something and let's say for now it only just prints okay so if i want this function to be called at a regular interval then i can use tickers in golang so first i will need to import time and then uh, let's say i need it to be checked at a regular interval of 10 seconds so you can create a duration like this so this duration is essentially 10 seconds and then I can create a ticker Just time dot new ticker which has this duration. Now how to use that ticker is I can simply write an infinite for loop for range ticker dot C and this loop will be executed every 10 seconds. So uh, let's say I want to stop it at some point. So I will start an integer and I will I will increase i in every iteration and and I will just stop it when i becomes more than five for this example. So in each loop I'm going to call this function and then if i is greater than 5 then i can stop this so tk dot stop and then i can break out of this loop okay so let's run this Okay, it's a long example. Let's say I just do it for every one second. So it is checking, then checking, then checking, and yeah, it checked total six times, and then the program finished. So this is an example how you can use ticker to do something at regular intervals. And usually it is useful for uh, uh, functionalities where you are either monitoring something or certain computation in your cloud which is going on for a long time and you want to see if it is going on fine or not. If you enjoyed this video then don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Cheers.